Hi, I'm Ida Chong, BC's Minister of Aboriginal Relations and Reconciliation. I have just joined leaders from the Namakolas First Nations to sign an agreement that strengthens the relationship between the BC government and Namakolas and gives Namakolas a stronger role in natural resource decisions in their traditional territory. This is just the latest agreement my ministry has signed in 2012. A year of many successes that highlight this government's innovative approach of building stronger relationships with First Nations while also creating a climate where resource industries can flourish. A key part of the BC Jobs Plan is improving opportunities and resources for First Nations to participate in natural resource activity in their traditional territory, as well as reaching non-treaty agreements that bring benefits more quickly to First Nations communities across British Columbia, just like this agreement. This year, we have signed agreements with the Cascade Dene's Council that creates certainty for resource development and environmental stewardship in a huge area of northwestern British Columbia. In the Northeast, agreements with the Fort Nelson First Nation benefit that region by establishing a clear process for consultation and management of oil and gas activity. An agreement with the Nacosley First Nation will help create certainty for the Mount Millican mine project near Fort St. James while allowing the First Nation to benefit through revenue sharing. And in the Fraser Valley, a pilot agreement with 14 Stolo First Nations creates a more streamlined consultative process for industry. An agreement with the Heisla Nation will spur the development of a liquefied natural gas facility and marine export terminal. We are continuing to sign forestry agreements that provide economic benefits directly to First Nations communities based on forest activity in their traditional territories. BC is also keeping momentum in the treaty process and this year, the Slyaman community vote in favor of their final agreement, as well as BC and Canada signing an agreement in principle with the Comox First Nation. All across British Columbia, we are reaching agreements that create certainty for resource development while improving life for First Nations communities and helping them to build their economic strength. Our approach benefits not just First Nations communities, but all British Columbians, and it is central to a brighter economic future for British Columbia.